Welcome to Electroline and now let's take a look and see how converging lenses make real and virtual images. Here we have two identical lenses. They each have the same focal length, so these are the focal points and the distance from the lens to the focal points are of course the focal lengths and you can see that these are identical lenses with the same focal length. In one case we're placing an object very far away and we'll see where the image happens to uh, where the image will occur. So here's the object. If we draw a line straight across to the lens, the lens will then refract the, the ray once and then twice, and the, the ray will go to the focal point on the other side of the lens. Here we have another ray. Let's say this ray goes to the focal point in front of the lens, hits the lens, refracts, and then goes parallel to the what we call the optical axis. This line in the middle is considered to be the optical axis as a reference to all the other rays. Notice where those two rays come together? That is the point where the image is formed. So an image will form on the other side of the lens. You can actually take a piece of paper and the image will actually appear on the piece of paper right there. You can see it. And you see that the image is upside down and much, much smaller than the object on the other side. Now what happens when the object is placed further and further and further away? Well, when that happens is the image will then appear closer and closer and closer to the focal point and so when we're looking at images farther away I'm sorry, uh, objects farther away the image will simply get closer and closer and closer to the focal point and become smaller and smaller and smaller so eventually when the object is really far away such as stars and galaxies which are really far away the image will form very very tiny very small just past the focal point of that lens and those are real images. They really appear there. You can actually make them appear on a piece of paper. And when the observer is sitting there on the other side of the lens, they can see the image being right there. Well, what if you then put the object, and here's the object, closer to the lens than the focal point on the front side of the lens. This is considered the front side of the lens. This is considered the back side of the lens. So here we're placing an object, O for object, um, right inside the focal point. And you can see that if you draw a ray from there, from the focal point to the top of the object to the lens, it will then bend, refract, and continue parallel to the optical axis. If you draw a line that's parallel to the optical axis, it will go through the lens and bend or refract, and it'll go right through the focal point right here. But notice now, in this case, the rays do not converge, they do not come together. Since they do not converge, they do not form an image on the back side of the lens, therefore they do not form a real image. Now what does the observer see? Well, the observer is looking through the lens, sees a ray coming in this direction, sees a ray coming in this direction, and so it will appear as if those two rays came from back here somewhere. This ray will appear as if it came from this direction. This ray will appear as if it came from this direction. And where the two points meet, to the observer, it will appear as if there is a, an image here. So let's put I or image. We use the letter I for image. And um, it'll appear as if there's an image there. But if you take a piece of paper and put it right there and look at it, there will not be an image. An image not, will not really appear. It just seems to appear there when you look through the lens. That's because these rays appear to be coming from that direction when they actually don't come from that direction. They actually came from this object right here. But since the rays bend, the observer is in a way being fooled to believe that the rays came from back here and that's where the brain will form an image. Now that's not a real image, that's called a virtual image because it's not really there. But nevertheless, you see the image as if it was a real image. The image is really there. Now notice it is the same orientation as the object. The object is right side up, the image is right side up, and notice also that the image is much larger than the object. A telescope is an, is an instrument that combines these two properties. In one case, you have an object really far away, you let the rays go through a lens, and you form a real image real close to the focal point. If you then take that image and use it as the object of the second lens, then you can have a very magnified image on the other side of the lens. And that's how telescopes work. So in the next video, I'll put those two together and you can see how a real refracting telescope works by taking the image of the first lens and using it as the object of the second lens to form a final 
very large image that we can look at, so very small objects, small not because they actually are small, because they're so far away, so far away objects that appear very small, you can make a lot larger so you can see a lot more of the detail of the object they're looking at through a telescope. You just have to somehow make that second image much larger, and we'll show you how that's done when you put the two lenses together.